Hi everyone! So it is quite an unusual time of the day. I usually do not film this late during the day. But as I mentioned in my previous video, taking my uh, Auric Glow Lust. Actually, I'm not going to waste my Auric Glow Lust on a look that's going to stay on my face for like three hours. I'm going to take my strobe cream. You haven't seen that video. I just realized that. Let me catch you up. My latest pet pairing video was also the last one that I was able to fi film on my old Nikon uh, N1J1 camera because the day after the camera just refused to turn on and as you can imagine it refused to turn on when I was about to film. So you will still still see a video that I have recorded using my phone. Um, it's quite unfortunate it's a, one of the most important videos or like one of the most fun videos to film during the year. It's my yearly ranking of uh, makeup, like my yearly favorites, which is like not the worst thing in the world. It's still fine, but um, I wasn't very satisfied with how the lighting was looking. The audio was definitely much worse than even with my old camera. And if I'm being completely honest with you, I actually don't want to kind of like waste my uh, camera battery on filming videos and the files are really ginormous and it's just I don't know I think I'm the kind of weirdo that likes things to be used for a certain specific purpose just like with products that are meant to be used um, on cheeks and lips I will only ever use the product for one of those purposes but never for both uh, so my phone is reserved for you know phone <laughs> related purposes and I do not want to use it uh, like a, as a camera because I do film often enough and a lot of the times I will film right at the beginning of the day and I don't want to have to charge my phone um, when I'm at work because I move around a lot and it's really inconvenient if I don't have my phone with me. And truth be told, I was preparing for this expense because it's already been quite some years since I got that camera and when I got it it was already my brother's. Um, he, I don't think he had used it very heavily but you know it was not a new camera and I got it in 2014 so I was kind of waiting for the day that it's going to quit on life and it was always going to be a surprise when that day is going to happen. It's very unfortunate that it decided to quit on life after I bought extra batteries for it over the summer but okay I think I'm just going to offer the batteries um, to someone for free if they want to have them and I'm going to get rid of the um, machine itself unless someone wants to use that for reserve like parts purposes as well I don't know anyway so I am absolutely terrible with uh, equipment for photography I do not I don't care okay I just don't give a shit I can't be bothered I don't have the patience so all I did was I googled best compact cameras with good inbuilt microphone for recording YouTube videos or something in those lines and then the, the top two suggestions were a Canon camera and the camera that I bought which is a Sony ZV-1 which is meant to be a vlogging camera. I bought the camera on Saturday and the website from which I bought the camera delivered it on Sunday which is unheard of I think because they have their own like delivery trucks and it's the holiday season maybe they're doing like extra deliveries over the weekend I have no idea but I was really shocked when they were like okay tomorrow it's coming I was like I'm not going to say no to that so the camera came in I immediately started yeah like playing around with it I um, did a teeny tiny test yesterday where I just recorded a few short clips and then I ported them into my laptop just to see how it looks and it is shocking the improvement in my video right now. I'm almost a little bit worried that you can see a little bit too much of me now. This video is mostly going to be just a little test for me to see how the camera works and whether I'm satisfied with the uh, video quality that I'm getting right now. If you're interested in any of the face products that I'm using, just let me know. I think you're here for the eye look, so I'm not going to waste too much of your time uh, talking about the face products. But what I was saying was... So because I'm terribly not handy and impatient when it comes to figuring out technology... Oh, sorry, you can hear Nicola crying in the background because it's the end of the day, he's tired and he's cranky. I'm sorry. So I don't have the patience to figure these things out and uh, my brother already told me years ago when he got, gave me the Nikon camera don't try to fuck around with like the shutter speed and ISO and um, aperture and stuff. Just put it on auto and go with that. So the only thing I did uh, was set it on auto. And then yesterday when I filmed 
like the very very sh first short excerpt of a video I was like my skin looks very smooth what is going on and I've already heard like uh, people who have these like newer generation cameras use as an excuse that oh they didn't know that the camera put a filter on them as an excuse to not remove it it's actually if I can figure out how how to remove the filter which I did a monkey can do it so I removed the filter you should be seeing me in my full poor glory and then I think besides that there was a function to for like displaying products the way you know I would do this and then he would focus really fast which he does it's amazing and further than that I didn't really do anything else I kind of like switched on my ring light I have some other lights in the background and that's all I have done and I'm really curious how this is going to turn out but also I can see because I finally have the little flip screen. I don't have to put the mirror behind to do my, you know, placement of where I should be and am I recording, am I not recording, what is going on on the actual screen of the camera. It is so convenient to have the uh, flip screen thing. The only thing I need to not do, because it's extremely annoying from when other people do it and I've, I get annoyed by it myself, is when you're actually looking at the flip screen instead of the camera itself. It's very distracting. You will notice in my yearly favorites video, which I filmed on my phone camera, as I mentioned, that unfortunately I seem to be looking off into space. I thought I was looking at the phone, and I think I'm looking at the phone, but maybe the way the camera is positioned makes it seem like I'm not looking into the camera. I don't know. It's super distracting, it's super annoying, and I apologize in advance for this small annoyance, but it's only for that one video. And from moving onwards, you're going to get this quality kind of me. And I'm definitely going to talk to you into the camera and not to the flip screen. But I do love having the flip screen. It is so, so nice. Getting the camera was also a very interesting experience in psychology for me. Because um, I never for a second considered that I am so invested into my hobby that I would not even think twice about forking out so much money for a new camera for just my hobby. This is not a cheap camera, you guys. It is not a cheap camera. And as you know, I only recently started making money on YouTube. And on that note, I don't know if you remember when I told you in the summer that my goal was to be able to pay a full price for a Pat McGrath Mothership Palette with my income from YouTube. I've reached my goal. Thank you all so much, because you've contributed for sure. But that is not enough to cover for a freaking expensive camera like this one. Now, this brings me to two important points that I realized. The first one being, I'm so humbled to be in such a privileged place in my life now where I can fork out the money for that camera without even for a split second thinking about breaking the bank, because I'm not. But at the same time, apparently I felt very guilty about it. The night that I bought the camera, I had a dream that I wanted to purchase a phone for my brother. In my dream I also purchased a phone for uh, my husband and I purchased the camera and in my you know in my dream I thought I have like whatever amount on my bank account and it was more than enough to cover for those expenses and there will still be more than enough to be left over for me to deal with my you know other expenses but all of a sudden there were like five euros left on my account and I was completely freaking out and I almost like woke up in complete panic and then I realized that you can take the girl out of Eastern Europe but you can't take Eastern Europe out of the girl. The second revelation that I had was basically how much I have enjoyed my channel in this past year in particular. I think any time before, like a year and a half ago, two years ago, if my camera had quit on me, I might have considered that as a sign from the cosmos that it's time for me to stop annoying everyone on YouTube and just quit the YouTube channel. But this past year, I feel like I finally found my niche. All of you who seem to be loving all of my series with Pat McGrath makeup. Speaking of Pat McGrath makeup, let's jump into the pet pairing that we're going to be doing today. Uh, I posted the look yesterday on Instagram and a lot of you guessed correctly one of the palettes that we're going to be using and that is indeed the Subliminal palette. Look how sharp she's looking. You know what I'm really curious about? If this camera is finally going to display lipstick colors correctly so that I can finally do more lipstick demo videos because I tried many many moons ago to do a comparison video between Lisa Eldridge ribbon and a bunch of other red lipsticks that I have 
and everything was so off in the footage that I edited the video, I uploaded it and someone commented that this is not at all how the lipstick looks like and I was like, yeah, I agree with you. So I basically privated that video and never put it back up again. But if I can finally get lipsticks to show up correctly with this camera, it would be so amazing. But look how sharp, look how sharp. So what I'm going to do now is take the shade Divine Mink, which is one of the most special neutral eyeshadows out there. It is this gorgeous taupey brown with a very interesting blue base to it because if you start blending this shade out you will see a navy blue appearing as a base color there. I'm going to use my Sonia G Jumbo Blender blush, brush and I'm going to basically start applying Divine Mink here all over my lids and I'm going to start blending it upwards towards my crease once I have cleaned off a little bit of that excess product so that I don't go overboard with the blending. So like I said, because of how much I've been enjoying my channel and let's also be honest about it, because I've started to make an income, well an income, I've started to make some money off of it, I feel like I've been a bit more motivated to put out content and I think that's one of the reasons that I didn't even blink twice at the decision of getting a new and expensive camera to continue to be able to exercise my hobby but it was a bit of a revelation for me because I didn't know how much I cared about my YouTube channel until the moment that the camera died and I was like oh no what am I going to do now I need to film stuff I have a plan for the month of December a bunch of things that I want to put out because it's you know the some one of the most exciting times of the year not only in terms of AdSense revenue, but also because it's the time, you know, for like ranking of things, uh, makeup favorites. I want to film a um, video where I swatch all of my favorite Pat McGrath eyeshadows from every palette, my least favorite from every palette. On a different note, I adore Divine Ming. It is such a beautiful neutral eyeshadow. It works so well as a one and done eyeshadow and it has such an interesting and unique tone to it. I've never seen anything quite like it. It's not grey, it's not brown, it's not blue, it's not silver, it's not really taupe taupe, it's just something in between all of those and I adore it. You can share it out very nicely for a less dramatic look, you can also build it up at the places where you need it to be a bit more built up like the outer corners but it's just overall such an incredible eyeshadow. The next eyeshadow that I'm going to use is also from this palette and that is going to be the shade Sinful over here. Sinful is a very difficult shade to describe. To me it's like a sage green gold and this shade in particular has really grown on me this past year. I've really found new ways to use it and I have a new appreciation for it. I've always really enjoyed it but this past year I feel like I really started using it. So I'm going to pop that right here into my inner corners and like inner one third of the lid and blend it a little bit into Divine Ming. And I really like how these two shades look together. It's such an interesting contrast and yet they complement each other so well. And now for those of you who were not able to guess the second palette that I used because I think that's the one that really threw you off, the one that I used to um, make the look sparkly is actually the Utopian Dream palette. And the shadow that I used is this one over here, the shade Astral Venusian Orchid. Uh, I tried the look, I didn't try the look, I actually just like swatched the Divine Mink and then I swatched the Astral Venusian Orchid over top of that and I was a little afraid that the glitter is just going to come out looking gold, which was not the look I was going for. However, prepare yourselves for that. It ends up looking green, which is exactly what I wanted for this look. Isn't that one of the most epic combinations you have ever seen? It's so pretty. I really enjoyed this look. I think I'm going to wear this look a lot. Definitely a look that I will be repeating. I'm already repeating it now because I wore it on Saturday and I am doing it for you today for this video, but it is a look I'm going to be doing more often. I did not, by the way, apply anywhere any sort of glitter glue. You could if you wanted to, but I really didn't feel like the look needed it one bit. Maybe it creased earlier than it would um, if I had applied the glitter glue. By the way, I'm also going to take Astral Venusian over top of Sinful, just because I can't help myself. 
if you're experiencing fallout with Astral Venusian Orchid, you could put a little bit of intensifies underneath to prevent that fallout, but for the rest of the quality of the look itself, I really didn't feel like it was necessary. Now for my lower lash line, I'm just going to take this small brush again and I'm going to go back into Divine Mink and just smudge that all over my lower lashes. If you don't have this specific Kiko eyeshadow stick, because you probably don't, it is one of their, I don't know, limited edition summer collections and it's their Fruit Explosion Frozen eyeshadow, which unfortunately also feels very frozen on your eyes, but it has the absolute perfect color because it is pretty much the color of Sinful. And I'm going to put that here into my waterline. But if you don't have a similar color, just apply a light colored pencil and a bit of simple over top of that if you wanted to replicate this look to the T. I can do this now. <laughs> if I wanted to show you the looks really up close and personal, I can now zoom you in. Let me also zoom you out though, because I think that it's always better to get like a wide shot of the whole makeup look. So this is the final look. I just put a bit of mascara and a little bit of the Affair lip gloss from Lisa Eldridge because, like I said, it's very late in the day, I'm not really doing anything special besides filming this video and trying out uh, the camera and um, being very impatient about how this is going to turn out once I poured it into iMovie and seeing like all the colors and the quality of the video. So I hope you enjoyed the look, I really love this pairing, it is definitely one of my favorite pairings that I have done lately just because I feel like it's, these are not colors that you would immediately think of putting together and yet they work so well when you layer them with each other. So I hope that we are all going to enjoy this step up in my video quality from now on. As usual, thank you so much for watching and I will see you in my next video. Bye!